this garage space with my granddaughter and her husband and their trailer. So I have, and their stuff, their camping stuff. So I have the back half for my camping stuff and my tools and miscellaneous storage and things for market and uh, this used to be a cart that I would take to market. I realized I thought I was filming. I told you a whole bunch of stuff about what I was going to do in this garage and none of it was recorded. So let's start over. That's what we do when we don't pay attention. Okay, so my goals. I don't know where I was at the end of the last one, but my goals are a space for my bicycle, which will be set up for plein air painting. And it will stay set up for plein air painting. It will have my supplies. It will have a chair. It will have a little easel. It will have everything right there. So I can just get on the bike and go. And I plan to go uh, more often than I go at the moment. So bicycle has to have a space. I want a work table in here, a fairly large work table, because um, sometimes I want to be able to resin large pieces of art, or maybe I'm doing some carpentry or something, and I just, I need a space to work with, and right now I have a lot of shelf space and a lot of junk in here, but no work table. Now, I can't put a work table in here unless I get rid of some stuff, so that's the next plan. Remember that? Um, wagon that I showed you a little while ago it used to be this darling little um, thing I called the willow barrel wagon and I went to local markets with it I just about killed me um, physically it was heavy and I had to push it up a hill coming home and even when I got help it was awful at the end of a marketing day to have to do that and uh, so as cute as it was it didn't work didn't work out very well but it was cute so I saved some of its parts and I put them on the wall like those shells right there um, to organize things with and then I promptly just made a mess of them and stuffed all kinds of things in there but I am going to organize them so the cart still remains but it doesn't have all the walls and the heavy stuff on it my plan is to put a large table in here and then take the space that I um, am currently using up for the cart and reclaim it by taking the cart and fitting it perfectly, I hope, under the table so that I clear up that extra space and get some more room to move around the table. And in the cart, I'm going to take, uh, put all my local market stuff uh, on a lighter version of what I used to do uh, so that I can actually pull the cart if I decide to go somewhere with it. Um, so it'll have my chair and my umbrella and maybe an easel and a few display things, maybe the smaller of my easy ups with some sidewalls in case it rains, because it does rain here a lot, stuff like that. But anyway, I plan to condense all of my market stuff, um, all of my local market stuff. There will still be things that I might put somewhere else for larger markets occasionally but all my local market stuff will go in that wagon which will go under the table which will clear up a whole bunch of space in here now huh I also have camping stuff in here and I in the last few years have gone camping <coughs> once a summer or once a year or once a season Maybe there was a year or so in there that I didn't do that and I just went somewhere like there was a Airbnb thing and, and I didn't need all my camping or any of my camping stuff. I'm not quite ready to get rid of it because I still haven't lost the identity of myself being a camper and I like that stuff. Um, I just don't like it all stuffed here in the garage. So my plan is I have a new bed inside and the rest of my house is quite tidy, not anything like this. Um, I have a new bed and I have space under that bed for at least three, maybe four tubs. And I'm going to put my camping stuff in there um, after I organize it and get rid of some of it that I don't really need. Um, and I may not even need the three or four tubs, but 
I will know where it's at. I can pull it out if and when I do go camping and if and when I decide to not go camping anymore, I can pass it on by just here, have a tub full of camping stuff or something like that. So I will remove the, my camping stuff from this garage and that will free up a lot more space. What else? It's probably enough for now. Um, oh, oil painting. I don't oil paint anymore. In fact, I gave away a ton of oil paints and oil paint accessories recently, thinking that I would never oil paint again, but I kind of miss it. Don't want to do it all the time. Don't want to do it in the studio because of the fumes. And um, I just don't have enough ventilation to do it and feel comfortable about, comfortable about exposing not just myself, but the others in the um, upstairs at the studio to the fumes. <coughs> so. The garage is perfect in the summer because I can open the garage door. Um, I can turn on a fan. I can actually take stuff right out into the, the driveway and park. I'm pointing out there, look at my hands. I was painting all day. I'm, uh, I can take my oil paints right out into the driveway if I want to go out outside and paint or out in the backyard or wherever. Um, so I might just set up a small section for oil painting until if and when I decide I really am not going to oil paint anymore. So bicycle, no camping stuff, local market stuff in the wagon under the table. Um, I don't know. That's a good start. Oh, okay. Here's where I thought I was filming and I looked up and I was like, oh my God, I've been talking for like 20 minutes. All right exaggeration six minutes and 13 seconds and I found out that I uh, hadn't been filming so here are the perimeter parameters to this challenge they're self-induced I like to do that it gives me kind of a game to play with and um, goals to try to reach and so I have $50 I might even show you the $50 uh, not right now because it's in there, not out here. But I have $50 to contribute to this project. I don't think I'm really going to need that because I have a wealth of material. I just need some muscle and some ambition, which I'm starting to get because the sun is shining. I have a lot of paint, um, a lot of shelving, and uh, I just have a lot of stuff. And so I'm going to repurpose most of it. If I should discover that there's something that I really need or think I need in order to make this um, garage workspace uh, function better for me, I can go get it, I can buy it, but the rule is I have to sell something out of this garage in order to pay for it because I'm not investing any money into this I just looked up on the top shelf over there and I have a power washer that I've never used. I don't know if I will. I think it's time to get out and use it. Not today. It's not quite warm enough, but soon. Okay. Well, that's one of my next projects. I still have this 30 day challenge of 30 acrylic pours in 30 days to finish up. I'm getting there. I have over half of them done and, uh, most of those I'll schedule for uh, YouTube and plans for the last, I think I have like 20 or 10 more to do and that's doable. So I'll finish that. I'll finish my challenge about 365 doodles and a drawings, doodles or paintings in a year. Um, as the year progresses, I still have till October to finish that challenge. And then I have some big news. I haven't told you about this. I'm going to Mexico to paint for a day. That might not make any sense to you, but it makes a lot of sense to me. And I will tell you why as I get going on this um, or maybe in another video. But anyway, that's that's the plan. That's going to happen in May, May 12th to be exact. I'm actually going to Arizona. Yeah, Douglas, Arizona, where the Art Car Museum is and the Art Car Museum Hotel. And I'm going to be there a week drawing and painting. 
but one of those days, Tuesday, I'm going to cross the border um, with a new Facebook friend who runs a nonprofit there or helps run a nonprofit. I'm not really sure what her role is. I think it's a big role in this nonprofit. Anyway, they help kids paint um, and draw or do art. And um, I found out about them by seeing some uh, posts through a friend of their work um, because they were painting the uh, Mexican side of the border wall with these kids and it was delightful to watch. They're not working on the border right now and when I get there it'll almost be time for the season to be over because it gets very hot there. Um, so I will be there one of their um, last few uh, Tuesdays of 2024 to paint with the kids. Oh boy to deliver some art supplies that I am going to be raising some money.